fast food Dakar, Sénégal, la grand-mère à l'hôpital dentaire, tout va bien, Kyrie, moi ici, toi là-bas, le visa au consulat numéro 39, y'a tant, y'a tant, à l'état civil, déjà l'an 2000, déjà 2000 ans au Manhattan, fast food Dakar, Sénégal, cinéma le Paris. Welcome to Artie Party, quick bites, little ones. Um, so this is just a really quick little recipe. Um, and today, we're gonna, I was sh thinking I'd show you how to make baba ganoush, if you don't know how to make it. Um, I love it, I love it, I love it. And I love it, especially making it in this house because Brendan, who's over there, does not like baba ganoush. <laughs> So when I make it, I get to eat the whole bowl by myself. Pretty good. Um, it's really easy and it's way cheaper if you just make it yourself. This eggplant, um, this one, Mr. Eggplant, was like a couple dollars. It's way cheaper. I think Baba Ganesh is probably like four or five. I don't know. So the first thing you do is you need to wash it so it doesn't have any yucky on it. And then um, you can cook it in two ways. You can either roast it in the oven for 30 minutes, um, and like 400 degrees would probably do it, or you can do it way quicker on your stovetop in like 15 minutes. I lined my burner with foil because it's gonna make a mess. So let's crank it. Don't know if you can see that, but it's cranked. Um, and then you just throw the eggplant on. Yep. Just um, let it sit there. Hang on, let me find myself. There I am. Okay, so just let it sit there for um, 10 minutes and just keep rotating it until the skin is charred, like black charred. It smells really good in here. It smells like something burning, which I love that smell. Um, it is gonna make a mess. There is gonna be water and stuff coming out of it, but it's all good. Just keep going. And make sure that it's evenly charred. Whoa. Okay, so I set a timer because I knew I was lying to you about how long it took, and it took 18 minutes. Plus like two or three, which is still less than half an hour. Now it's too hot, so wait another like five minutes for it to cool down depending on how brave you are, and then we'll peel it. And then we'll be like five minutes away from Baba Ganoush. Hi Karen Foreman. Hi. Okay, are you rolling? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you said thanks Karen. <laughs> um, Karen Foreman is on camera right now. I just wanted to shout out. Woo! Woo! Okay, so you can see it's all charred. Wicked chard. And that also means you can then just rip all this ucky, ucky, ucky. You can rip it all off. Okay. So then you need a really big, heavy knife. And um, you can put this in the food processor if you like. I don't have one of those fancy dandy things. So I just use a knife and I like chop it up really, really, really fine. I do all this and shoot it myself. Thank you, Karen. You're welcome. Okay. Now this is all to taste. This is how you like it. You need tahini. Um, depending on the size of your eggplant, I would say like a sixth of a cup to a third of a cup, but probably no more than that because you still want to taste the eggplant. So I do a sixth of a cup first, like half of that. And then um, I like it really lemony. 
So anywhere from half a lemon to a whole lemon is good. And then a little bit of salt and some pepper. And then you just taste and go. It takes me like five or ten minutes of just tasting just to figure out whether I like it or not. And then all you'll do, and I don't want to bore you with the details, is you'll chop up some parsley and throw it in there at the last minute. And then you go baba ganoush, and you can eat this whole thing. You can eat it all. I am going to eat it all, because Karen doesn't like it, and Brendan doesn't like it. I might want to try it. But now she wants some. <laughs>